Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and uh, it's the 20th of December and we're just uh, sitting outside in the garden before I do a bit of fence painting and uh, making a couple of videos. So I've got the sun shining in my face now so I can't see if I'm actually on camera. But I just thought I'd have a quick look at um, a cutting experiment I started all the way back in September. Um, I think it was the 10th of September if you want to have a look through my playlists and go back to the citrus uh, Go, th go to my citrus playlist and have a look back at the one from the 10th of September where I had a pomelo that I bought that arrived with a snapped off stem so I decided to have a go at rooting it as um, I've never actually managed to successfully, well never tried to root a citrus cutting before So, but I thought it would be a good opportunity to have an experiment so what I did was I wanted to try rooting it in uh, perlite if I manage to actually get this pot out of here, it be easier said than done. What I did was I took a clear cup, filled it with some perlite, and I did use a bit of rooting, uh, a, a rooting gel on this. And this was um, when my pom when my pomelo arrived, it had a snapped branch on it. So I thought rather than throw it away, I'd pop it in perlite to see what happens, what would happen. Now. This is now, so we're well into December now, so it's at least three months later. It hasn't been a, in, in a heated propagator, but I did keep it in a plastic box with a lid on just to keep it humid. And I'm looking at this now, and I don't know if you better see, because I've got the sun shining in my face, but there are actually roots. I'll have to look at the video later and see if you can see that or not. But there are actually roots here at the bottom of the pot. So I'll move that a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to repot this into normal compost today and I can actually see roots coming through elsewhere. So although that hasn't started growing yet, it's clearly rooted okay. So that's that's absolutely pure perlite with moisture and a little bit of um, uh, rooting gel. I don't know if you'd need the rooting compound but I didn't think it would do any harm to try it but it stayed green and healthy. It was quite a nice thick stem so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take that out of there a little bit later and pot it up and see, uh, see how it does and uh, I'll put it on a nice bright window so hopefully I'll have an extra pomelo growing by next spring and this one's going to be on its own roots because obviously it came off a grafted pomelo uh, plant. I don't know what the rootstock would be, probably Poncirus uh, trifoliate, but this one's going to be growing on its own root, so it may well grow much quicker and larger. I don't really know anything about the uh, pomelo's own, uh, own rooting ability. I would imagine it will grow a larger plant. It won't necessarily be any hardier, it might be more tender because it's not on the hardy citrus rootstock, but it's a free plant, so it's worth having a go. So I thought that might interest people that that's just rooting in pure uh, pure perlite, nothing else. So at least it's stopped any bugs uh, developing in the soil. So we'll get that potted up in a while. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated as usual. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, obviously you can share it with anyone you think might be interested. But that was a different method of trying for rooting plants rather than uh, plain compost or uh, cocoa peat. Um, Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and uh, obviously if you hit the bell you're going to get updated on new videos as they come out which will include hopefully a living pomelo plant when it comes to uh, when it gets to spring. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.